StreamYard tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can get started with StreamYard and how you can use it. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on their main website StreamYard.com and for those of you who don't know what StreamYard is, it's basically like a streaming service, like a live stream or live stream service like you know how people live stream on Twitch. StreamYard also does that and it's really cool as well now it isn't completely free there is a pricing plan so let me just show you the pricing plan so if i click over here and open it up in another tab we can see that there are three plans and over here there is the free plan the basic and the professional uh so the free plan is of course free the basic is for 25 dollars per month and the professional is 49 dollars per month so the free one you get screen sharing banners on-screen comments six on-screen participants brand color green screen streamyard anywhere streamyard branding in your streams and streaming limits and then you have the basic one which is going to be 25 dollars per month this is billed monthly but if you switch to annually you will save like uh, 60 dollars and yeah but uh if you switch it to monthly it's 25 dollars so everything in the free plus you get no streamyard banners the banner will be removed uh, unlimited streamings up to 10 on-screen participants logos overlays background custom rtmp designs pre-recorded screens recording six hours slash streams and multi-stream three destinations and then you have the professional one which is going to be 49 dollars per month and in everything in basic plus you get recording 10 hours per stream you know multi-stream eight destinations so you can stream onto eight destinations you know stream to eight platforms at the same time so you don't have to worry about that multi cameras full hd and individual audio this is however a downside i wish they had put more thought into making these plans right like i don't think people would need a professional plan you could have just maybe put in two plans right and you could have removed the branding and you would have you should have put like 1080p in all of them like it's what people want like i think in twitch you can go ahead and do that but whatever but still this is how it is this is the pricing plans and you just simply have to click on the sign up button over here enter in your email address to get the code and sign up so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second and once you have signed up you are good to go so this is how it looks like right so over here onto the left side you have your broadcast you have your videos you have your destinations and you have your members so if you click on broadcast you can create a broadcast over here and over here you will have your past broadcast over here in videos you have your videos that you have recorded it's going to save all of your videos and then you have destinations as well so you can add a destination connect an account to stream yards once connected so you can stream to it right so you can stream on facebook with Streamyard, on linkedin pages on youtube channels on twitter uh, on twitch hopins or custom rtp so over here if you don't see a particular platform that you want to click that you want to stream on just simply click on custom rpt and then you can go ahead and configure it to your liking and then you can stream on your custom website like when like vimeo or live stream etc so it's pretty simple so to actually go ahead and get started you can actually record up to five hours over here you will have your story see that that's what i'm saying like they're basically saying that if you want to use it you gotta upgrade the account which i don't like i never like seeing people uh, you know force you to buy an account if you're gonna give us a free account give us a free account don't force us or put some sort of implementations that is going to force us in order to upgrade our account then we we'll just stop using your account and go ahead and find some other places where we can do the exact same thing but yeah so over here to create a broadcast just simply click on create a broadcast over here you can use a new broadcast or a pre-recorded broadcast right so it all depends on you so let's say you already have recorded a video and you want to live stream it just simply click over here and you can go ahead and do that right so you just simply pick a previous stream reward recording on your uploaded videos select the time and destination sit backs and watch the stream go live so right so if you come over here onto videos uh there are no videos over here and i don't think there is a way that we can upgrade it so and i don't think there is a way that we can upload our videos but you know what it is so let's go ahead and create a broadcast so we're going to go ahead and click on new broadcast all right we're going to click on add destination and let's say we want to up you know uh stream on our youtube channel so we'll click on youtube channel and for this you're going to have to verify your youtube channel to the highest level where they actually allow you to uh stream i think i did that a month ago but i don't remember so 
but we'll see right so youtube channel said we can go ahead and title it i'll just say demo stream we can add the description and we can make it private public or uh, or unlisted i'm going to keep it private and i'm going to click on create a broadcast so currently we're entering into a broadcast studio all right we don't have a mic we don't have a camera so we're going to allow it i do believe yeah here we go so as you can see mic is working testing is good we can enter in a display name as well so we'll just say test over here and we'll just say enter studio and yeah there we go i think it's working now i don't have my face because i don't have my mic at the moment but it's pretty simple you can go ahead and choose however you want it you can add different guests to it you know pretty simple nothing too crazy you can add up to five people or one people uh you can add to stream by clicking over here as you can see i'm added to the stream right here and yeah there i do have my camera i believe but as you can see it's currently positioned in a way that there is no lag so of course I'm, i don't want to show my face but pretty simple this is how you basically stream so easy right and currently i am on streaming on youtube right now and this is private so we can go ahead and view it on youtube as well so let me just open it up uh don't show this tip again continue to to youtube and over here this is going to be the demo stream that is you know playing so over here waiting for me uh, okay so how do we go ahead and do this so yeah over here as you can see i stopped my camera as well so that you can see that i am talking but yeah we can go ahead and add the banners right like this is an example banner so we can just simply click over here and it'll pop up over here on the screen and you can go ahead and edit it as well uh if you click on the edit button you can go ahead and edit the banner uh this is a test and yeah scroll across the bottom ticker so we'll click on save and we'll just simply click on add and then it's gonna be something like this then you can go ahead and add like your brand like you know classic uh, minimal however you want it you have your logo you can change your logo as well but you have to upgrade it you can add different overlays you can add different video clips uh, you can add, change the backgrounds we can add like bubble dark and stuff like that but it all depends on you you can add a background music as well it's pretty amazing and then you have your private chat option over here and then once everything is ready and good to go just simply click on go live and you are ready to go right just simply click on go live and then your stream will be live there you go you are live now over here i believe that we have started the stream over here as you can see the stream is working i am currently viewing it over here on youtube and we can go ahead and view it there you go see it's working now there is a, like a delay effect but don't worry and we can see our viewer count as well so we can see i am one of the viewers so pretty simple pretty easy nothing too complicated this is how you guys it so once you've done you want to end the stream just simply click on end broadcast there we go click on end broadcast and your broadcast will be ended all right then you can give it a review or whatever and then you can return to your dashboard pretty simple yeah so that's how you do it that's how you use uh stream yard and that's how you use it to live stream so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye